the first picture I ever saw. And I remember having an emotional reaction to it. A big one. It was King Kong, the original 1932 version? 32. And uh, my dad took me to the uh, Museum of Natural History in downtown LA, and it was black and white, and, you know, didn't prepare me for Kong dying. And, you know, I was, a hu- I was very much into biology and animals and fossils, and I loved dinosaurs, and so I saw King Kong, and then King Kong became caged up, and then, you know, of course, we all know what happens at the end, but I, I cried for, like, three days. I cried for three days about King Kong dying. It really, really affected me. I was heartbroken for Kong. I grew up in a neighborhood where it wasn't, like, you know, L.A. is very big and flat, so they, you know, you don't have access, you have to walk for miles to hang out with a friend. And I had no friends in the neighborhood, so I'd always, you know, watch movies constantly. And the, the one was definitely Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. And then the horrific movie, Watership Down. Have you ever seen Watership Down? Ugh. About these rabid killer bunnies that, uh, like vampire rabbits, that like kill each other and suck each other's blood. It was horrible. But I would, you know, I literally watched those till, because those would be kind of the only ones that we had. So I watched those hundreds and hundreds of times and we broke those, the, the tapes, actually. Those two movies. Oh, and then Bed Knobs and Broom 6. That one. Bed Knobs and Broom 6. Those were the three movies that I saw. Yeah, that's interesting stuff. It's good stuff.